not him because I want to be him, him because beyond the shadow of a doubt, I got to be him. I didn't think it would ever happen to me, but it did. And I lost my job, and I don't have no money in nothing. You just can't swing it. You just have to live through it before you understand it. These people are your neighbors, and they're mine. They have nothing but the clothes on their backs, the food they get from soup kitchens, and a home they call the street. They're crying out for help, but they say no one is listening. They're among some 10,000 people in Guilford County who are poor. They carry their belongings in plastic bags to a place the homeless know all too well. It's a roof over their heads, a place to get a sandwich, a hot drink, and a mattress to sleep on. Ben Tatum has been living here for over a year. And I certainly thought I'd be gone from him for this time. And I hope, hopefully, that I wouldn't have to stay here another winter. But it looking very bleak. Ben is 55 years old, born and raised in Greensboro. He has no family, no job, and no money. He's too old to work, at least that's what people tell him. And he's too young to collect Social Security. I have no choice, see? No choice. Who can help? What little help they do get comes from Urban Ministries, a privately funded organization which provides food and a place to sleep. By day, Potter's House is the only place where homeless people can get a good hot meal. For many, this is the only food they'll eat all day. By night, this shelter becomes their sleeping place. For some people, this is just a temporary stop. But for people like Claude Coleman, this is home. He's been coming here off and on for four years now. His money has gone to medical bills. He has cancer and heart trouble. He has no place else to turn. If you had one wish, what would it be? Have a family. Do you think you'll spend the rest of your life coming here or to places like this place? I probably will. What do you see for your future? It's bleak. Very bleak. 